Welcome back, listeners, and I am sitting here with Thomas O'Brien. Thomas O'Brien has been a part of the NYPD for the past 22 years. So, Thomas, starting off, what jobs did you first have? I started out as a uniformed patrolman in Upper Manhattan and then was assigned to the crime scene unit, which covered the five boroughs of New York City. That responded to police-involved shootings, homicides, child abuse, um, major disasters that happened in the uh, five boroughs of New York City. We were responsible for f photography, documentation, and recovery of any evidence that was left behind at these uh, crime scenes. And out of all of the jobs that you had, which one would you say was the most scariest? Scariest and graphic? Yeah. Uh, there was quite a few, but uh, one incident in the South Bronx uh, stands out in my mind. Um, a gentleman had a dispute with his friend over a girl. So the man kills him with a hammer to the head, bashes his head in and decides he's got to get rid of the body. So how he does it was with serrated knives in the apartment, and he dismembered this entire body of this gentleman and placed the body parts in different size garbage bags, rode a bicycle around the South Bronx and started dumping these bags at different locations. So I found a head in one bag, his arms in another bag like four blocks away. Six blocks away there was his legs and his torso was found in front of the building. But that particular job it had always uh, stayed with me. And was there ever a case that personally affected you A case in Brooklyn, New York, where a, a woman had given birth and uh, killed the baby. The baby was uh, recovered from uh, plastic shopping bags. I had uh, opened it up, and the child, uh, baby girl, was uh, deceased. And you found the child? I found the child, yes. And in that case, what did you have to do when you found the child? Did you have to take pictures for it and testify in court? Or? Um, I had to photograph the child, overall view of the body front and back. And um, it just looked like it was sleeping, but it, it wasn't. It was uh, deceased. And um, you have two daughters at home. Do these cases ever affect you the way you look at them, or do they ever ask you about these cases, and do you try to hide it from them because you don't want to scare them, or how do you handle telling them what you do or what you did today in your job? I've seen what people can do to each other out there uh, through homicide, sex sexual assaults, and having two daughters makes you... Uh, more protective and worrisome. I always uh, want to know where they are, what they're doing. And I understand you have to cut the cord, so to speak, when they're getting older. But uh, my experience, seeing what I went through throughout my 22 years in the NYPD and the crime scene unit, I'm overprotective of them. And looking back at your job, what would you say was the most rewarding thing that you've ever witnessed or you've ever taken from it? I had a particular case in uh, Brooklyn where a uh, radio announcer for a New York uh, radio station was found uh, bound with duct tape and stabbed numerous times. Um, it was something like a Craigslist uh, crime. But I was on that scene for six days looking for any types of uh, physical evidence, trace evidence, which there was throughout the whole apartment. But um, a, fring a fingerprint had matched the uh, killer. And after two trials, one was a mistrial. The second trial, we got a conviction, and he was sentenced to 25 years to life. And that by far was the most satisfying for me because it was a newsworthy case in New York City. But uh, there were quite a few others, but putting that uh, this particular case, getting this kid and putting him away for a long time. So you've seen it all. You've seen the best of and the worst of people. Now that you're retired, what do you do with your life? What well, keeps you entertained? 
I'm working for the uh, New York Yankees organization, and uh, I'm a chauffeur bodyguard for the uh, Steinbrenner family members, driving them wherever they want to go throughout the city, ball games, restaurants, and uh, I'm like hired security for them. It's pretty interesting, pretty cool, and they pay me very well. <laughs> very nice. Well, thank you, Thomas, for joining us, and thank, thank you. you listeners for tuning in. Next time, we will be here with our Top 20 Countdown.